Hi there, it's Sarah from Only Human Therapy. Now in this video I aim, fingers crossed, I aim to explain to you who I am, what I do, why I do it and how I do it. So bear with me as I try and go through those questions. This is a, ch a little chance for you to get to know me and potentially decide whether or not um, there's some synergy between us and we could work together. So I'm Sarah, as I said, and I am the owner and founder of Only Human Therapy, which I set up in 2017. So I am trained, my background is human given psychotherapy training. I come from a very holistic approach to mental health, so both in my own experience and in um, my, and in my professional work. So I have been through a maternal mental health illness myself. I have lived through anxiety, depression, postnatal depression and postpartum psychosis. I'm also a recovering perfectionist myself and have bouts of anxiety from time to time that I can now manage. So who am I anyway and where did I come from? So I am a 33 year old mum of one little girl called Aria um, who is now four years old so she has started school recently. Um, I now live in North Wales, Anglesey. I was living in Birmingham for the last four, five years or so. Before that I lived in Cheltenham and then before that I was at uni in York and before that I grew up in South Manchester. So I've lived in a few different places and I've travelled the world a lot. I have a huge, huge passion for travel um, and last year actually was fortunate enough to travel for five months with my husband and my daughter before the pandemic so we got back in February very lucky um so that's a little bit about me um as a youngster I was a keen gymnast and dancer so I went to uni to, to study dance um, and I only kind of was introduced to the world of psychology and and counselling really and mental health um, as I became a bit older. I was drawn towards that and realised that was really, really where my kind of expertise lay and where I wanted to be in that space. So that came about as, um, as I suffered with anxiety but didn't really know that that was what I was suffering from. And then that little idea or seed of an idea was cemented when I fell ill with postnatal depression after the birth of my daughter, I decided that actually the the sort of mental health sector that I wanted to work with or work in was with mothers. So through pregnancy and beyond mothers of all ages. And there's a really significant shift that happens neurologically and psychologically when you become a mum. So there are, you know, just hundreds of changes going on in your brain physically obviously not to mention you're growing a human being but all of those emotional and mental changes that come with that and the aftermath of adapting to that adjusting to life as a mother um it never ends and it's very challenging very overwhelming and so that you know that is who I serve that is the um area that I can best support women with um so that's a little bit about me and what I do um, how do I do it? I do that through mostly one-to-one -one therapy. So I work in packages because that's where you see the best results. You know, people can, if they really want to, just dip in and out for a session here and there, but they will get the biggest results if they invest in a package, which is where we work together for 12 weeks. So over three months, not three months, sorry, it's a, it's a, yeah. No. Anyway, it's a twelve week it's a twelve week one to one package. Maths is not my strong point, um, but supporting people emotionally is. So that's lucky for you, isn't it? Um so my packages are my main product or service if you like. I also run lots of workshops and obviously those are online at the moment and will be for the foreseeable future. But as soon as I can get people back in a room together, I will continue doing my mother's circles in person because I just love that real human connection and the power that women have when they're together. So I do m monthly mother's circles, I run crystal workshops um, because I'm also training in crystal healing at the moment. So that's another kind of holistic service that I'm, 
that I'm adding to my therapy practice. So I'm a very spiritual person. I, I've always used crystals kind of intuitively in my work. I always use meditation, but I also bring in the neuroscience and all of the practical tools that I know um, I can adapt to each person. And what I love is basically having an emotional toolkit because every client that comes to me presents a different problem. And so I don't have a one size fits all. I don't use scripts ever. Um, you know, I believe that really I need to see and feel that person in front of me, even if it's through, you know, through the screen on Zoom. I need to be able to empathise with that person to be able to understand what that person needs, so what support they need. And then I will, after a first session with somebody or a, um, a consultation over the phone, I will know what that person needs, what's lacking for them and where my skills can best support them so that they can move on with their life. So that's what I do, um, the why, you know, the why I do it, sorry, that's what I do and how I do it. The why is because obviously of the experience that I went through, which was unfortunate. I don't want any mother to ever feel the way I did. I don't want any mother to feel like there isn't support. I don't want any mother to feel like she's a bad mum or that she shouldn't be feeling these feelings because this is very, very common. Um, and the more we talk about the the difficult parts of motherhood, the unfiltered parts of motherhood, the better because we're allowing other people then to come forward and reach out for support. So don't ever try and do it alone and please try to stop comparing yourself to other mothers because everyone's journey is different. And four years ago I was in a psychiatric hospital um, didn't want to survive, you know, I really genuinely just didn't want to be there, didn't want anything to do with my daughter, I wanted somebody else to take her away and look after her, and now look at me today, doing what I'm doing, um, supporting other mothers through this, this transition, this turbulent transition to motherhood and beyond, um, and we need support at all stages of motherhood, not just in those early days, it's just a different kind of support. And so I adapt to whatever stage of motherhood my client is at, you know, because now I'm at a different transition where my daughter's four and she's just started school. So this is a whole new dimension to motherhood that I'm not used to. And when people have their second or third child, again, that's a new transition. You're being reborn as a mother again. So I think that's, I hope that I've kind of attempted to and um, succeeded in answering who I am, what I do, how I do it. Um, and yeah, if you if you would like to get to know me more, then head over to my social media pages. You can follow me at Only Human Therapy on Instagram. Um, my business page on Facebook is Only Human Therapy. And then I also have a group where I share lots of stuff um, and tips for mums. That's called Mental Health Support for Mums, which is a kind of branch off group from Only Human Therapy. And I run regular free challenges in there as well as my my regular circles and events. So yeah, and if you wanna have a phone consultation, then of course, feel free to do that. There's never any obligation to work with me. It's a free chat for 20 minutes to half an hour. You can um, maybe decide whether this is something that you want to explore. You might be interested in one of my packages, but feel that it's at the moment this isn't the right time to invest. So we could talk about payment options, payment plans, if that's something that you would like to do. So don't discount it. If you feel like it's something that you need right now in your life, then don't be afraid to ask for another option. I can always adapt my services to somebody in need because like I say I don't want anyone to feel alone I don't want anyone to be in a situation where they are not getting the support that they need okay so um, that's everything from me like I say just reach out if you need to and I hope that that's given you a bit of an overview a bit more of an idea of who I am and and over to you to decide whether you want to connect or not so have an amazing day or evening whatever you're up to wherever in the world you are remember that you are enough and you are not a bad parent you're not a bad person there's nothing wrong with you and it's okay to not be okay so please 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 just believe in yourself and hold on to a little bit of hope take care bye